Hi everyone, it's Tom from Electro Sound Systems. Today on our Warranty Void series, I'm going to take you through the reassembly process of a DMB Audio Technic D12 amplifier. We have many racks of these amps in stock, and the nice thing about the D12 is that it will run just about any speaker in our inventory by using its easy to navigate DMB speaker presets. While these have been incredibly solid amps for us, we do on rare occasions have minor problems with them that need to be taken care of. The thing I love about the D12, as a lifelong professional taker aparter of things, is the thoughtful mechanical and electrical design of these amps. The layout is clean and modular, with really just three main boards, a power supply, an amp module, and a control DSP board. This particular D12 is part of an amplifier rack that we have set up dedicated to driving B2 subwoofers. Recently, we've been having an issue where the B channel of this amp will go into an unidentified fault mode indicated by a flashing OVL light, but no error codes on the screen. One peculiar thing is that it's an intermittent issue. And we have noticed it more on shows where there is a lot of moisture in the air, especially outdoor festivals where there's dew on everything when we get started in the morning. With this amp, if you let it sit in its OVL air state for about 20 minutes and recycle the power, the air would clear and the amp would work normally. More recently though, it would go in and out of fault throughout the show, so it's time to give it a look over. Now there's a couple of different techniques to repairing things especially oddly intermittent electronic issues that most techs probably know. The first is the old try turning it off and back on again, which with this amp worked for a little while, but seemed to get progressively worse over the course of a few shows. So we escalated it to the second repair technique, which is to take it completely apart, clean it, and reassemble it. I did just that and discovered a couple of interesting things. There was a large amount of dirt and gunk buildup on the fan and the circuit board around the fan and several parts of the circuit board had a very light corrosion around the leads of some of the output devices. Given that the issue seemed to be moisture induced, my first thought is that there may be some slightly conductive corrosive paths between the traces on the board that are getting more conductive in the presence of moisture. I removed the main amp module and gave it a thorough scrub with a deoxidizing chemical, cleaning any trace of corrosion from the board. Also, by taking the amp completely apart, it exercised the dozen or so control connections within the amp to hopefully clean those off. Finally, I cleaned all the gunk off the fan to help with cooling and further eliminate any harmful conductive paths on the board. So as you can see, upon careful reassembly of the amp and double checking my work, the amp booted up as normal with no fault lights. Now unfortunately, because this was an intermittent issue, it's going to be fairly difficult to replicate this problem on the bench. So what we'll do is give the amp a quick test at the shop, driving a sub for a few minutes and make sure everything operates normally and send it back into service. We can keep track of any future issues via its barcode in our quarantine records, and if needed, send it back to DMB for more in-depth repair. Because this amp is dedicated to driving just one box in an array of many subwoofers, if we experience the fault condition again, chances are it won't cause any audible issues. For that reason, I'm okay with putting it back into use because I want to try and run it in some prolonged hard service conditions and make sure we resolve the issue once and for all. That's it for this edition of Warranty Voids. At Electro Sound Systems, we genuinely care about knowing and maintaining our gear because our reputation rides on your show going smoothly. We're here to make the world sound a little better one show at a time. So be sure to reach out via the links in the description if there's anything we can do to help you.